this. That's number five in my car. Because it's pouring down. As you can probably see through the back windscreen. There. Um, and you can probably hear it too. I literally came down. I got a little soaked. Um, like I wasn't too far in there. Uh, now I'm steaming up my car windows. That's right. All right. So hopefully you caught number four before I got rained out. Um, I was about trusting God and how do you trust God? And I was just saying it's, you know, it's something that's a process. It's not so easy for a lot of us, including myself. I've struggled with it. Um, but it's like a little bit at a time and, and, and actually knowing him. Um, because I do see miracles and I am grateful for them. And I have those conversations with him. Uh, around, you know, why isn't this happening? And I, you know, I allow myself to have that father-daughter relationship of I'm not happy right now, I don't like it. I'm not trying to be, you know, nasty or anything or I'm not, like, always complaining, but I'm still having that conversation, that open, honest conversation because he knows anyway. So, like, just talk to him about it and sort it out, right? Works for me. Try it. Okay, so number five... Before I try and drive somewhere in this maelstrom, um, I'm going to go to verse 37, which is uh, the first farewell we get from Moroni, because there's, there's actually, I think, three, but this is the first one that we get from Moroni, um, because, you know, he doesn't know how long he's going to be there, or what's going to happen to him, he's got no idea, we know, because we've read the story, at this point he doesn't know, so this is like his first farewell, before he includes the book of Ether, you know, he's on the run, whatever, so... It was a promise to the house of Israel here, which is really important. So, verse 37 says, And may the Lord Jesus Christ grant that their prayers may be answered according to their faith, and may God the Father remember the covenant which he hath made with the house of Israel. Make note. And may he bless them forever through faith on the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So this is first farewell. All right. So, we as the house of Israel have the promise that um, we're going to be blessed from God. So this comes back into trusting him, into knowing who we are, and having that strength every day. So, we have that promise, it's the house of Israel. Remember what's the house of Israel? Being baptized into the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's it. That's simple. Okay. You can complicate it all you want, but that's the gist of it. Um, it's based on our faithfulness in Jesus Christ, the miracles that we get. We get the blessings. So it's not like our deeds or how much tithing or anything. It's the faith we have. It's not doing a checklist of good things it's the faith we have it's that widow's might faith um, it's it's turning our inclination and our heart to Jesus Christ that's how we get blessed that's what they're predicated on um, and you really see that like the more bitter and angry you get the less blessings you get so the more bitter and angry you get and you get into that cycle if you actually start saying thank you for things and being grateful for things you find that actually stuff starts working out eventually and not all at once and not how you probably thought but stuff actually works out and it's okay and you're okay and you find a peace with that it takes time it's not an overnight thing um but it's quite from elder ugdorf it's another one from elder ugdorf i think it actually may be in the same talk as the one i just gave in the rain in the forest over there anyway um this one says, The fires and tumults of mortal life may threaten and frighten, but those who incline their hearts to God will be encircled by his peace. Their joy will not be diminished. They will not be abandoned or forgotten. So I love that because I don't want to be abandoned or forgotten. I've been abandoned and forgotten and I don't like that. And, you know, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Mother, Jesus Christ and the Holy Ghost have never abandoned me and never forgotten about me. So... I love that, and it's just, no matter what happens, the fire and tumults of mortal life, they do threaten and frighten, but we can be encircled as part of the house of Israel. Um, you know, even even people that aren't part of the house of Israel yet, we might still call them Gentile, they can have this blessing as well, right? Okay, well that's my thoughts for this week, and we're into Ether next week. Which is awesome. Oh, I got a bit wet again. Never mind. Anyway, we're into um, Ether next week. So Mar Moroni abridges Ether. So the rest of the Book of Mormon has been abridged by Mormon. This is now abridged by Moroni. So it's a little different take on it. I think Moroni puts in different things that he finds speaks to his heart. Um, 
and I really like the Book of Ether because it's more like a story. Um, well, there's some really good stuff in the rest of the Book of Mormon too, but Ether's kind of one of my faves uh, to go to and read about. I love the brother of Jared and the whole account of, again, knowing who you are, having a problem, taking it to the Lord, coming up with a solution, and then the Lord goes, cool, yeah, I can do that. See, that's how it works. So this is where we learn this stuff. So if you haven't started reading yet, um, and this is the first Come Follow Me you've seen for the just start now, finish it off with us. It doesn't matter, and then you're ready for next year. Get into the habit, give it a go, but yeah, write your own power statement too. I'm going to push that one, I think that's really important. If you can know who you are, write a power statement, um, pick a different scripture if that works for you. Um, just reword it a little bit, or get a scripture that you can just insert your name into if you're not so much a writer. There's always something you can do. If you want to use my one and write it more for you, I'm happy to share that. Just message on whatever format you're watching this on. Um, but yeah, that's it. I'm going to go enjoy this rainy day. Yeah, let's see if I can turn you around to see what's Oh my gosh. Look at that. Ugh. And it was so nice a minute ago. See, that's New Zealand for you. So yeah, but Jubilee Park's over there, it's wonderful, you can park on the side of the road, which is a little dangerous to so be careful, um, and wear good shoes for the walking, otherwise it's beautiful and totally worth it, okay? That's us for the week, have a good one, we'll see you in Ether.